Imagine you open your Kigo RTS transmitter and there's no programming button on the inside. Did something go wrong in production? No, fortunately not. And in this video, we're going to look at how to add this type of Kigo to a roller shutter. So there are two versions of the Kigo RTS, one with and one without the programming button. And can you tell which version you have in advance? The one with or without? Unfortunately, you can't. So you have to open it up and see. In this case, I have the version without the program button, and this remote control does not to be, need to be open for programming. So if it was open, you can close it and we can start. To pair up the remote control, we have to start with remote control that's already controlling your roller shutter. In this case, our smooth origin RTS that's controlling the shutter behind me, as you can see. So what we need to do first is turn this one around and press the program button on the back until the roller shutter responds with a jog. And there it is. The next thing I need to do is take the remote control, the Kigo, and press the two outer buttons until the LEDs start flashing quickly. There you go. And now I can choose one of the buttons here to pair the remote. So I can choose, I have four options, choose the big one or the smaller ones. Choose the big one now. A bit too late, so I'll do it again. Press until it starts flashing quickly, and then I press the button that I want to link it to. And there it is. The jog from the um, roller shutter, which means that it's working. Um, and let's test that. So I'll press the large button and it works. And as you can see, this remote control works differently from the other ones. Um, here it goes up when you press once, when you press again, it stops. And when you press once more, it reverses direction. So that's the way this sort of remote control works. Now, hopefully it will work for you as well. If it doesn't, send me an email at info at For now, in any case, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.